Winter, spring, summer, fall, four seasons of the year. Winter, spring, summer, fall, I enjoy them all. First comes winter with ice and snow. Don't forget your mittens when the cold wind blows. Next comes spring when the earth warms up. Birds sing and flowers bloom. Wake up, buttercups. Then it is summer with the long hot days. We must swim and slide and skate. All we do is play. Finally it's fall and the earth cools down. Leaves turn red, yellow, orange, and brown. Seasons, seasons bring changes for all. Winter, spring, summer, fall, I enjoy them all. Okay, the next part is a speaking part. Somebody's going to have this one. You listen. I'm going to read it out loud. You follow along, and I'm going to pick somebody to be the speaking parts for these, okay? So listen to Miss Gibbs' voice. Listen to how my voice goes up and down. And there's a speaking part for you at the end where it says, everyone, you're going to say, um, school's a very busy place, okay? Here we go. My turn. It's the middle of November, and the weather's crisp and cool. Thanksgiving's getting closer, so there's lots to do at school. Our teacher gives us projects that we work on every day. We make Indians and pilgrims out of paper, paste, and clay. Do you have an extra, Charlotte? Our bright Thanksgiving posters are displayed on all the walls, and our cutout paper pumpkins happily decorate the halls. Today, I drew a turkey with a fat and funny face. In the middle of November, School's a very busy place. Okay, go now. Here's another speaking part, and this is going to tell us the, the story of Thanksgiving, right? I'm going to pick some boys and girls to have these parts. You just listen to the story today. They say, the pilgrims lived in England many years ago. They wanted religious freedom, but the king told them no. So they moved to Holland to have their say, but they were so unhappy, they decided to move away. They sailed to America. It was a very long trip. The Mayflower was the name of their big ship. The long, hard journey took many days, but they finally landed in Plymouth and started their ways. They built log houses in which to live. They made friends with the Indians and continued to give. They gave a great big feast on Thanksgiving to all. They were thankful for everything, both great and small. It's on. All right, here you go. Cut the wheat, golden wheat, oh how beautiful the harvest. Cut the wheat, golden wheat, oh how beautiful it is. Pluck the grapes, pluck the grapes, oh how beautiful the harvest. Pluck the grapes, pluck the grapes, oh how beautiful they are. 
Here's another speaking part. I'm going to pick two people to say this. The first person will say, first we give thanks for food we are given. Then we give thanks for houses we live in. Then we give thanks for the sun up above. But mostly we give thanks for all the people we love. One little, two little, three little babies, four little, five little, six little babies, seven little, eight little, nine little babies, ten little Indian boys. They jumped in the boat and the boat flipped over. They jumped in the boat and the boat flipped over. They jumped in the boat and the boat flipped over. Ten little Indian boys. They swam and they swam and they swam to the Now remember, so what's going to happen is there's going to be a girl, Miss Gibbs is going to pick an Indian girl, and she's going to walk up and she's angry that everybody keeps thinking about the boys when we know there was Indian boys and there was Indian girls. The girl is going to say, hey, y'all keep singing about the Indian boys, what about the Indian girls? And everybody, I want you to fold your arms and do this, hmm, okay. Okay. <laughs> and this time we sing it again. Ready? She sings um, One little, two little, three little Indians, four little, five little, six little Indians, seven little, eight little, nine little Indians, ten little Indian boys. Don't say anything yet. She's going to get back up there and she's going to say, what did I say? Everybody wait till Miss Gibbs does it on the piano. <laughs> you say, and, and girls. And then she comes back to the microphone and she says, thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Let me remind you, we're going to have, uh, these are the colors of Thanksgiving. Everybody, the people are going to have um, different colored construction paper. They're going to hold that construction paper and say what color they have of Thanksgiving. When we talk about red or the cranberries, I never try. I don't want you to say yuck. I want you to go yeah. one time. So let me practice this part. Red are the cranberries. I never try. Just one time. Good. All right. So here's the speaking part. Are you ready? It says orange is the pumpkin I, we make into pie. Red are the cranberries, I never try. <laughs> Good job. Green are the beans in the casserole dish. White mashed potatoes, I'll have more if you wish. For yellow corn, I just cannot wait. Brown is the turkey I have on my plate. Everybody says, yum, yum. 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 Okay, you wait, you're gonna echo me on this song. Let me sing first. You repeat after me. We eat turkey. We eat turkey. Oh, so good. Oh, so good. Always on Thanksgiving. Always on Thanksgiving. <coughs> yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. My turn. We eat corn. We eat corn. Oh, so good. Oh, so good. Always on Thanksgiving. Always on Thanksgiving. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. We eat cranberries. We eat cranberries. Oh, so good. Oh, so good. Always on Thanksgiving. Always on Thanksgiving. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. We eat stuffing. We eat stuffing. Oh, so good. Oh, so good. Always on Thanksgiving. Always on Thanksgiving. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. 
Okay, the next part is about the little boy who has braces and he can't eat stuff for Thanksgiving, right? <coughs> These boys and girls are going to say this. We're going to be so sad. You have a couple of speaking parts. You're going to say, oh, man. Can everybody say that? Oh, man. Because you're sad, too. He can't eat all the good stuff for, uh, for Thanksgiving. You're also going to say these words right here. Poor little fellow. Poor little fellow. And at the end, you're going <laughs> to grab your heart. You're going to say, aw, bless his heart. Aw, bless his heart. There you go. So this person says, he was hungry on Thanksgiving, but he couldn't eat a thing. He couldn't eat a drumstick, and he couldn't eat a wing. He couldn't have the pickles or the gravy-colored rice. The pumpkin pie was delicious, but he couldn't have a slice. Oh man. He was starving for some stuffing or a tasty yellow yam or a puffy little muffin spread with homemade berry jam. Poor little fellow. Our dinner looked delicious, but he didn't dare to touch. He went hungry on Thanksgiving because his new braces hurt so much. Grab your heart. Aw, bless his heart. Say that with me. Aw, bless his heart. All right, here we go. Everybody, we're singing the words. Not yet. Everybody sing. My battle's clean and bright, brushing with silver. Here's another speaking part. This is some first graders telling us about the children pilgrim first grade. They say, the pilgrim children long ago learned to live with ice and snow. They lived in cabins, slept in cold when nights were long and winds blew so. <clears throat> but all of the children were glad, I'd say, to have that first Thanksgiving day. And when they went to bed at night, I'm sure their dreams were warm and bright. Here we go, everybody sing. Little pilgrim cloaked in gray on that first Thanksgiving day. Little Indian cloaked in brown came to visit Plymouth Town. Side by side they ate and prayed on that first Thanksgiving day. Sing 
This one, there's only going to be one person talking. It's the person on the microphone. You boys and girls, when the person on the microphone says wobble, wobble, I want you to do your head like this. But don't say wobble, wobble. Just go. Right? And then when they say gobble, 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 don't say it. But I want you to do your head like a turkey does when he says gobble. Okay? No talking. Just moving your head. Are you ready? <clears throat> a turkey is a funny bird. His head goes wobble, wobble. And all it knows is just one word. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Good job. If you didn't talk, good job. Five fat turkeys are we. We slept all night in a tree. When the cook came around, we could have been sound. So that's why we All right, boys and girls, on this part, if you remember, um, you are going to be sick during this poem <clears throat> because you ate too much. Um, and so what you're going to do is <clears throat> you can grab your stomach. I've got some boys and girls in here. They're helping me right now. They're grabbing their stomachs. So everybody moan on your stomach. And then I want you to grab your head like you have a headache. And then I want you to grab your face like you're kind of checking your temperature. And then grab your stomach again, and while the people are saying this part, you are going to just be sick. Your, your stomach hurts so badly, okay? <clears throat> so can everybody moan for me? Are you ready? Uh, uh, uh. Grab your stomach. The person says, I ate too much turkey. I ate too much pudding. I'm sorry, I ate too much turkey. I ate too much corn. I ate too much pudding and pie. I'm stuffed up with muffins and way too much stuffing. I'm probably going to die. <laughs> and then everybody moans again. Uh, grab your head. Uh, grab your face. Uh, and then grab your tummy again. Here comes the next part, right? You're just sitting there quietly <clears throat> with a, a sad look on your face because your stomach hurts. I piled up my plate and I ate and I ate, but I wish I had known when to stop. For I'm so crammed with yams, sauces, gravies, and jams that my buttons are starting to pop. Everybody's sick again. Ready? Grab your stomach. Uh, grab your head. Uh, grab your face. Uh, grab your tummy again while this last person says this. Right. Now remember, on this next part, they're going to uh, have some dessert. Remember? <clears throat> when they mention dessert, you have a tummy ache, but they mention dessert, and everybody goes... <gasps> Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> that's okay, that's good. So everybody has a stomach ache, but they say dessert, and you go, <gasps> and they say, I guess it won't hurt. Everybody shakes their head no. And the person says, if I eat just a little bit more. Remember, and everybody gives a thumbs up and says, yeah, that's the spirit. Can you say that with me? Yeah, that's the spirit. Okay, so everybody get your tummy ache again. Ready? I'm full of tomatoes and french fried potatoes. My stomach is swollen and sore. But there's still some dessert. So I guess it won't hurt. This is my part. If I eat just a little bit more. Yeah, that's the spirit. Okay, boys and girls, so listen. Um, on this one, remember, it's thanks a lot. I'm going to sing Thanks a Lot. I'm going to get a solo. Somebody in first grade is going to sing Thanks a Lot, and we repeat Thanks a Lot after them, and then you sing what's on the board. Then they sing Thanks a Lot, and you say Thanks a Lot, and you read the next slide on the board, okay? Um, let them sing first, and you echo. <clears throat> We're doing this for first graders, though, right? <clears throat> My turn. 
Thanks a lot.